this is Hannah, and today is a beautiful autumn day. And I have some exciting news for you. For a long time, I have been watching a mystery Christmas. The pupa was a light green color. I found it on the very first day of fall under the leaf of our banana pepper plant. It was lime green with only a thin layer of silk over it for a cocoon indicating that some kind of moth would be the one to emerge from this cocoon. But what kind of moth? I was very excited to see what kind of moth would hatch, as I did not know and couldn't find any information. In the previous months, I had been seeing holes in the leaves and quite a few obvious signs that some kind of caterpillar had been feeding there. I had also seen two different species of caterpillar. One was an army one. Unfortunately, I did not take any pictures of the caterpillar when I saw it. Nor did I have any pictures in the past taken of this caterpillar. So, I'm just using this picture that I found on the internet to show you what the caterpillar looked like. It was a yellow striped army worm caterpillar. Army worm caterpillars are considered a pest and hated by many people. People often try to kill them to stop them from eating up all the leaves on their plants. But, of course, I am a friend of all moths and butterflies, and I never try to kill them on purpose. So I just left it alone in nature to do its thing. And, for just in case if you're wondering what they look like when they're adults, this is what the yellow striped army worm looks like as a moth. Both moths and butterflies have two sets of wings. The wings at the top are called fore wings. The wings at the bottom are the hind wings. The hind wings are rounder than the fore wings. And in this species of moth, the fore wings are brown and the hind wings are white. My favorite feature is the white hind wings in this moth. And I have seen these moths before in the yard. But I am quite certain that the pupa I have found is definitely not an army worm, as their pupa is a reddish brown color and is found underground. This picture shows the pupa of the yellow striped army worm, and it looks nothing like what I found. So, what is it then? What is the pupa that I have found? Well, I did see a different kind of caterpillar beside the army worm caterpillar. It was an inchworm. Inchworms are not worms, even though the word worm is in their name. They are caterpillars that become moths. The inchworm that I saw was green and slightly fuzzy and was much larger than the previous caterpillar, which was a yellow striped army worm. Maybe it could have been the one that was eating up the leaves and putting big holes in there? Or, maybe there could have been multiple caterpillars. I don't know. And I only saw the inchworm for one day. After that one day, I checked but didn't see the inchworm. Perhaps it left and pupated? Who knows? The inchworm caterpillar was only slightly bigger than the pupa. And caterpillars shrink when they are preparing to become a chrysalis. So who knows? Maybe the pupa was previously that inchworm? Well, there's no way to know for sure until the moth hatches and is identified. Then I can look up what the caterpillar is and see if it is the same as the caterpillar I saw or if it's totally different. But right now, things are getting exciting. It is October 9th and it has been a total of 17 days since I last discovered the chrysalis. I have been trying to check on this chrysalis every day, but for two days, I have been missing out on checking on the chrysalis. We have been gone all day, and by the time we got back, it was already dark outside, and I had missed out on checking on the chrysalis. So, I did not know what had been going on. I wondered if it would be hatching soon. Today is the first day in two days that I have been able to check on the chrysalis, and something exciting is happening. It's starting to get transparent. That means you can see through it. Transparency in a chrysalis means that the moth or butterfly will hatch 
soon, and you can see the colors of the wings. Right now the color I see is a very light yellow color. Light yellow wings speckled with black dots. What kind of moth do you think we'll have? I don't know, but I'm very excited to see. Let's bring the Christmas in and open up the cocoon to get a closer look. Okay everyone, this is the chrysalis, and I'm about to open up the cocoon, so I'm so excited. First thing we're going to do, the first step is I'm going to spray it just a little with this chrysalis mist bottle right here. Oh, flip the leaf over. I don't think that it's going to be hard to open this one up, because the, the silk is really thin. You can see just by spraying one time how wet it got. So I'll start opening it. Gentle not to hurt the chrysalis. See the skin of the caterpillar? It kind of shocked me. I mean, not shocked me. I'm not shocked. I mean, it concerned me at first because I thought that the chrysalis had been damaged. But now it's just the old skin of the caterpillar. See the crystals right there, I don't want to damage it. There's something right there near me, so I'm just going to move something right now. It'll make it hard for me to get on the right and I need to be able to open it up. Okay, good. I just moved that big, huge box that was making it kind of hard for me to get at the right angle. So now I'm at the right angle and I'm going to try to open it up. Whoa, this looks really cool. Look at that. There's the pupa. Wow, what kind of moth do you think this is, you guys? Whoa, this is very interesting and exciting. There's the pupa. Mystery pupa. You can actually see the eyes already, which is a sign it's really close to hatching. So there is the pupa, which is about to hatch. It looks really interesting. At a closer look right here, here is a better angle. You can see it has two silvery little dots right there. See them? Kind of reminds me of a brown moth that I saw a couple of days ago. So this is my own picture that I took of the moth. And it's kind of blurry, it's not the clearest picture, but it's just to show you what I saw. And you can see the little silvery dots I was talking about, one circle, one U. So I'm looking at this and comparing it to the chrysalis right now. And what I see in the picture, the U pattern is slightly different than what I see on the chrysalis. So I'm not sure this is the exact species, even though it does look similar. Also, the rest of the wing colors don't match. On this moth, you can see that it's dark brown, and on the pupa that I'm currently looking at, the, the light yellow with the little black dots, it doesn't really match that pattern at all. But you know, sometimes the chrysalises can change, and this is this could just be the very start of transparency. And over the next couple of hours, it might have a lot more changing to do, and who knows if it will change to look like this moth. I don't know. Anyway, I am just so excited about this mystery chrysalis, and I cannot wait for that beautiful moment where the moth breaks the shell of the chrysalis. It's going to be so exciting identifying the moth and seeing what kind it is. Also, I'm really happy that this chrysalis is alive, as every other time I found a mystery chrysalis, they have always been dead, but this time it's alive and healthy. I'm going to give you an update tomorrow, and before I leave, I just want to thank 
all of you who have subscribed. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. My channel is now at 93 subscribers, which is a big change because not long ago it was only at 20 subscribers and now it's 93 and it's climbing its way up to 100. So thank you so much for subscribing and supporting the channel. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Don't forget to like the video and hit the notification bell for the update. See you next time with the Mystery Moth.